is the gutter of a modern house and what always used to be timber is this fascia board here and now they're metal so when it comes to hanging something off it it's an interesting question as to how thick is that and how strong is that so we're talking about just that fascia board that hangs down under the gutter now it is just steel and you can flex it a bit it's got a bit of strength to it but uh, if you're ever going to mount anything out um, it's really not very strong and not as strong as steel. It's, it's well mounted, it's solid, but um, just the thickness of the steel. If we come up here, I've slid a tile back. If you want to know about how to slide a tile, have a look at the link up here and I'll show you how to slide a tile on a tile roof. Um, but this gives us access into the roof cavity. And this is the fascia plate right here. It comes up and it's bent over. Again, it's giving it its strength. And here, I can feel the inside edge. I'll see if I can show you that. Um, that inside edge there. Now, because I want to actually run some wires across, I want to run these vines. And again, I've got some good videos about the vines. Have a look up there if you're interested. These are uh, star jasmine, very fast growing. You can see they're up and right around the corner and coming around. Uh, and they're going to form a roof. We're just going to string some wires across. There'll be another video. Um, I'll put a link up there to that one when we do those wires and string that across. But the fascia just isn't strong enough to um, bolt into or screw into. So what I've actually done, um, you can see here, I've marked it in the gutter, um, that wiggly line where I have glued a board uh, inside. See, there's the batten off the roof. That's what's holding the whole roof. And then the fascia, the steel plate is attached with this um, metal plate here. And I have glued, let's see how we go getting the camera inside. So you see that board? I've just got an old board and glued it. I've pushed it as hard up as I can and just used um, construction adhesive or liquid nails and I've glued it onto the fascia plate here. Um, and then out here on the gutter, I've marked exactly where the board is. Um, you see that um, black wiggly line, that one there. Now what that means is um, when I slide the tile back down, I know there's a board there, so I can screw hooks into that. I can um, bolt things into that. It's now just like a wooden fascia. And because I put a reasonably big board in there, that's about 10 inches to 12 inches long. Um, it means it's got the any load I pull on it, like if I hook something in here and pull it back, any load I pull on it is going to be out over the entire um, length of that piece of steel. So again, I could also put some construction adhesive down here to actually glue um, the liquid nails is very strong. It would put a bond between here and here to also attach it to the roof. But for what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a cable across and hang the plants on it. That's well and truly strong enough. So the steel by itself wasn't, but by pushing, putting a piece of board in there, um, I'll go down and show you a piece of board, and just glue on one face, push it up against the side, let it dry. Now I can drill in through the fascia and put in big screws. I can do whatever I want, and I'm mounting uh, into timber so it makes it nice and strong. So here's the boards I was using. This one didn't get selected because he's cracked and a bit short, but this, are, this is actually um, out of my firewood pile, believe it or not, just got a little outdoor fire. Um, and this is just some off cuts of wood. So, you know, it's sort of just a bit under an inch thick, um, solid piece of timber. The one I used, as I said, was about a foot long, so a bit longer than that. And I've just sat that in and it slides down into the fascia glue on the face here, um, slide it in, bang, it's glued in place. So now there's just that thin bit of steel in front and anything we attach is coming in um, to that piece of timber. So we can screw things in now like you can't do with the steel. And the big thing is any pulling force that happens here, instead of happening a millimeter around the bolt hole, it's happening right across. All the load is being spread right across this big face. So the whole thing pulls on the fascia. So it really, really helps um, when it comes to mounting things. So. There you go, that's my solution, uh, and that's how we're going to get this job done.